<laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 58 of My Mom Sandy. We are your hosts. I am Josh Fasson, and the woman on the other side of the, the Redondo Beach, who uh, she actually voted in the Georgia primaries four times, this is My Mom Sandy. That's right. I voted four times. Get it. I figure I might as well get on board. If everybody else is cheating, I might as well cheat, too. What do you think about... Um, I mean, I don't think it's a secret at this point how many episodes in we are that <clears throat> you are a staunch Republican, right? Well, I wouldn't say I'm a staunch Republican. I mean, there's certainly things that they do that I don't like as well, like the COVID bill, for instance, <clears throat> you know. Which we'll get into. But what is your take on the 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 phone call of – Trump oh, the calling, take on the phone call. Calling, um, uh, you know, who did you call? I, yeah, the Secretary of State of Georgia to to basically beg to just find some find some votes, and if no, they didn't find not, them, there no, there would be no, uh, no, 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 there would no, be no. hell that's, to pay. No, did you read it? I I listened to it. I heard it. Yeah, yeah. No, I I read the transcript, and that's not exactly what he said. Mm. He said he he gave many examples of the voter mm. fraud that went on in Georgia. Mm. And the Secretary of State said, hey, there's no fraud. We can't find anything. You're going to have to look at some other states. And he said, look, we just need to find some votes. Can you find us some votes? And when the guy said, I don't think I don't think we can do that, Mr. President, he said, well, uh, you know, there's, there's some bad stuff's going to happen. It's amazing that that's like, like that's the story today. Well, that's what it is. That's what it says on the trend. And that's I mean, if you listen to the tape, that's what he says. That is on the tape. Well, you know what, Josh? There's a lot. There's a lot of fraud that went on. If you just listen to his uh, his uh, speech in Georgia, he outlined all of the fraud, all these examples. How many votes? This, you know, how many votes were done by dead people? How many votes were done by people who lived out of state? I mean, I've seen the videos. I've seen them pull out the, you know, clear out the place, and you got four poll workers that pull out boxes of. Of a uh, vote of ballots from underneath tables. You saw I mean, it. You were there. I saw the fucking security video from the building. But were you on there? On top of that, on top of that, yes, I was there. But uh, but I was outside. I was not one of the four. You were in Georgia at the time. You know what? I saw it, just last night. I saw a video of a gal again, the same place in Georgia. The same gal that you know that pulled these votes out was running through the voter tally machine five times a stack of, of of ballots the same stack of ballots do you know she her, ran through five times do you know what her name was no but somebody does because mm. I think I think Trump mentioned her by name in the uh, phone call all right let's keep let's keep moving let's move on so first and foremost I want to say happy New Year's to everybody listening uh, it is 2021. It is. We are in the same shitty place as we were in yeah, 2020. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, that makes it all better, right? It's a new year. It's it's like fucking crazy. Everybody, oh, I can't wait for 2020 to to be done with. Why? 2021 is just a carryover of 2020. Yeah, it's uh, nothing's changed. It's definitely more of the same. I don't know if things are going to get better anytime soon. So last time we talked, I was uh, sorry. I'm trying to find a news article for you here. So, um, last time we talked, I was kind of getting off the, the tail end of my COVID. Um, and I feel good. I feel better. Um, I consider myself extremely fortunate, um, that I was not just another number, you know, um, you know that they, they just had that, um, that congressman elect from, I think from Kentucky. 41 years old, had a heart attack being with the COVID and died. He just got elected to Congress. Yeah, I, I saw mean, that. I saw that. Um, yeah, it's really sad. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, and that's and that's the thing, right, is that we just don't know. And I've talked to several friends about this. Um, I've talked to you about this. I mean, that's the scariest thing. About all your friends are probably like, yeah, come on over, Jock. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. You're safe. Although but, we're still remote. I feel weird about being in the same room with you for long periods of time. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I mean I feel like uh Yeah, I, I mean it's why. it's just weird. You know, it's it's we don't know what the I mean look, so I tested on December 20 uh 22nd, 23rd, um came back negative. Uh I got my results late late, I think Christmas Eve. 
and uh, and I feel good. I feel good. I don't feel like you know they talk about the these long haulers. I don't feel like I'm a long hauler. I don't feel like I have any symptoms like left over. Um, How were your headaches? You said you were having headaches. Yeah, I mean, I had a few headaches for a couple of days. Um, I haven't had them. Um, I haven't had any headaches recently, so you know, I don't know. I mean, it could have just been a headache. You know, I mean, you just you don't know. I, I'm I'm just curious as to how many people go to get tested. I mean, most of the people that you know that go to get tested are not showing any symptoms of it. Mm, no, that's not necessarily true. I mean, I've definitely had. I mean, people. I w- I mean, I mean, the last place you would have wanted to go, am I right? With the COVID, would have been to go get tested. Yeah. So, I mean, to catch everybody up to speed, if you didn't listen to the last episode, which you should, but. I was uh, I was exposed to someone um, who tested positive twice within I think four days, yeah. And then I went and got tested because obviously I'd been in very close proximity with this person, and I became I tested on a Tuesday morning. By Tuesday night, I had a fever, and then um, my test came back I think late Wednesday or early Thursday, and my test came back negative. Um, so there is no official record of me having COVID. I'm going to get tested for antibodies probably next week or the week after. Um, yeah. How long do they say you should wait for that? One to three weeks. Yeah. You know, so I would think the longer the better. Yeah, potentially. Especially if you got to, especially if you got to pay 150 bucks to get it. Well, and even the I mean, and I don't know if the antibody tests have gotten any better, but supposedly those are supposed to be. Um, you know, only 50, 50% accurate or something. Or they were for a while. They were 50% accurate. So, Well, what I read last night about the test was that um, that the World Health Organization is changing their, um, their recommendations for running the tests. They're, apparently, they're, there's like a – it's a PCR test, and they run it at like 35 cycles. But if you run it at 35 cycles, you get – a false positive result. This is for the antibody test or for the actual test? No, this is for the actual test. Okay, because one, yeah, one of the articles I read had talked about how many times you swirl, you fucking swirl the thing, right? And Yeah, and <clears> the more <throat> times you do it, the more, I mean, they could find like a little itty bitty teeny tiny speck of COVID that, you know. Right, so that's what like I had some people talk to me and they were like, well, how do you know? That this just was, you know, how do you know that, that you, did, you didn't have COVID and this was just, you know, you just tested negative. And I said, you know, unless I'm fucking superhuman, I just don't feel like there's any way that I could have been around this person for as long as I was uh, in as close a proximity as I was without getting it, especially because, you know, had they tested negative or had tested positive negative, I think it'd be different. I think it would be, okay, well, I don't know, right? But, um, well, and then you got sick. Yeah, and then I was sick, but... You know, I think that for a long time. I mean, yeah, I mean, I had that. a fever for twelve days. I was, I was sick. I was fucking sick. But, um, you know, I read this article about how many times they swirled the fucking the 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 shit right after they you know swab your nose, and you know they say it's like well they some places do it thirty five times, some places do it forty times, some places do it fifty times, and the more they swirl it, the more <laughs> the chance they have of finding a positive test result if the viral load is small. You know, yes. so yes. that could have very well been. My situation was that I had a very small viral load. Well, the the a WHO load, now a load you in have me. A, I had a viral yeah. load in me. You have a very small load in you. Well, the WHO now is saying you can't, you shouldn't run the test at thirty five cycles, and forty cycles is almost ridiculous. I mean, basically, the article that I read was written by a doctor, and what he said was that. Um, was that um, millions of tests over the last nine months have indicated infection and they've been a lie because they've been done at 35 to 40 cycles. He said that the uh, the um, labs were actually recommended to do it up to 40 cycles. So, I mean, you know. So I guess what I'm saying is I wonder how many people have tested positive for it but have never had any symptoms. You know, I guess that's the thing. I mean, because I, like I said, I, I'm not going to go get tested. And if I get sick, I probably still wouldn't go get tested. It would be like, okay, I, I have the COVID. What do I got to go somewhere and stand in line and? Well, yeah, I mean, I had, a, and- I had a friend of mine that kept asking me, like, you know, while I was sick, 
you know, I, had a, I was fever and fatigue and, you know, I mean, barely, barely moving, you know, I was in bed or on the couch and he was like, well, are you going to go test again? And I was like, well, what for? <laughs> why? Like I have it. He's like, well, you know, just so there's like a record. And I was like, well, I don't, what good is that? I don't know do? that I, yeah, I don't know that we want a record. I yeah. don't know if it's good to have a record or not have a record to be honest. Yeah. I mean, like I, I could do without you know, having this official record of it. A, B, you know, I feel like, I don't know, there is that thing where I'm like, look, I'm fucking sick. The person I was around tested positive twice. So now I'm going to go to a testing site. And now I feel like I'm putting these people at risk. Yeah. I mean, you know, you have it. It's, you know, I was like, so, you know, what's his name said to me? Well, you know, maybe he doesn't have coronavirus. I'm like, he's got 12 days of fever. People, said, well, people who listen to the podcast now that haven't listened from the beginning, they yeah. probably just think that like you have like early dementia or Alzheimer's oh, where you're like, like, can't remember his name. Like, oh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? And we use what's his name to protect his identity. Of, of we, your on again, off again boyfriend. Well. Are you guys on now? He, you guys are on. Yeah. 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 But we don't see each other a lot. Right. And COVID. Yeah. Uh, so I found a... Um, very interesting news article from the New York Post, and it came out today. Uh, I don't know how official it is, but new life pumped into theory that COVID-19 is a result of a China experimental lab leak. Oh, yeah. See, now we've been saying that. I've been saying this for months. Did you see it? Did you see this article? I heard about it on the news a little earlier. I didn't see the article, but yeah, it's about fucking time. So the problem with the article that I have is that it starts off and it says an American novelist is breathing new life into the theory that the COVID-19 pandemic was the result of a lab leak in China, a notion that several scientists agree is, quote unquote, absolutely possible. Now, I just don't like that this is a novelist who's who's breathing life into the theory. I would rather have Who's the novelist? I mean, there's been... There's so it says, many- so, so let me continue. So in a nearly 12,000 word cover story for New York magazine, Nicholas Bake, Nickel, wait, Nicholson, Nicholson, Nicholson. Is that a name? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not there with you. I can't Nichols- really read Nichols- it. on. You want to put the phone up to the, no. uh, Nicholson the Baker Skype? floats the idea that a SARS COVID-2 or SARS CoV-2, the virus that causes, that causes COVID-19 was tampered with by money hungry scientists eager to capitalize on a new emerging disease. Quote, and I quote, I keep returning to the basic puzzling fact, Nicholson writes in the story out Monday, this patchwork pathogen, which allegedly has evolved without human meddling, first came to notice in the only city in the world with a laboratory that was paid for years by the U.S. government to perform experiments on certain obscure and heretofore unpublicized strains of bat viruses, which bat viruses then turned out to be, out of all the organisms on the planet, the ones that are most closely related to the disease. What are the odds? Yeah, you know, I um, I heard that we pump a lot of money into that uh, particular lab, but I'm very curious because there have been reports that many countries have condemned that lab for their uh, reckless handling of things that, you know, that, that they're not, they're, they're not terribly strict. I mean, you know, kind of just kind of reminds me of the scientists with the test tube with the COVID-19, he trips and oh, there it goes. It's gone. Alina Chan, a scientist at Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard told Baker in July, and I quote, there's a reasonable chance that what we're dealing with is a result of a lab accident. Yep. I'm going to tell you right now, I think that's true. And I don't even know that it was an accident. I'm going to go even that far just to say, you know, and I've told you, and they cite this doctor that I told you about that I've seen on TV before, which you said, oh, she's just a Bannon. She's a Bannon makeup, which she wasn't. She's a legitimate doctor who worked in China, worked in the labs in Hong Kong, knows about this. She's a virologist. She knows about this. She said, there's no way that this virus cannot be created by man. It has too many, um, it has too many things in it that would, that would never come together in nature, like a pangolin and a bat and a, you know, and a this and a that. I mean, there's just too many things that are there that could never be, you just would never find the combination in the natural environment. So, you know, 
She's come out. She said it. She had to escape Hong Kong. There's another doctor who came out and said the same thing. And I don't know if that person is out of, of China or not. But I'm telling you, China doesn't want us to know. But now, I guess, according to this article, too, didn't they cha- Didn't China change their story now? We're saying that they think it was created in a cave somewhere in 2012 from <laughs> some cave dwellers. I mean, it's like, come on. I mean, seriously? And and on top of that, fucking let's hold them responsible. They've killed the economy of the entire fucking world. And, you know, and did you see? I mean, I saw videos of New Year's Eve in Wuhan. I mean, it was a big fucking party. Everybody's out. Is it propaganda or is it true? I don't know. But seriously, like we're on lockdown and they're out partying some with, some without masks. I don't get it. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's an absolute fucking mess, right? Um, I mean, did they just <clears throat> kill everybody who got it? So now they don't have it. What I don't in know. China? Yeah, I don't know. I have no you idea. Think they did. You think they did that? I mean, my thought about it is that this is that like if China did do this, right? Then I think that it has to be. I mean, I, I think. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to say let's go bomb China. You know, I mean, that's that's wrong. That's clearly wrong. No, but don't don't they have a shitload of money? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I mean, how do how do you, you know, here's the thing, too, is that are, you know, is it a plot for them to become, the you know, a world leader in everything? I mean, look, I would say that if this was something that was rolled out just to say America, right? Uh, And it was like, okay, well, this is going to, you know, but but it's worldwide. And I think that I know why not kill the whole world? Because I think that what's going to happen is that I think that if it ever comes out, First off, I don't think there's ever going to be any any evidence that this comes out that it's like, oh well, here this was made in a lab and it, somebody fell. Like I, I don't think we're ever going to. Well, know the, that. Uh, China won't let us know that. We'll we'll come we'll come close to speculating on it. But and, that's what I'm saying know, is that we'll never. And there, we'll and never, there could be there could be proof. I mean, this gal from this doctor from from Hong Kong, she's got like the whole all these fucking equations that show, you know the origins of it i mean if she knows the origins of this virus then i mean if she can you know write it down then obviously it's man-made yeah but it's going to be one person's word against someone else's word against someone else's word but i think that if it comes out that and again we'll never know but you know if it ever came out then i think that you know the whole world is going to take action against china and it's going to it's going to completely be the opposite of what china was trying to do and they should take action against 100 percent, totally if this comes out that this was not something that you know the bat had sex with the pangolin who had sex with the man and then the man was patient zero and he spread you know whatever <laughs> but can you imagine like a, co- a there was a a south park pandemic special and it's like one of the south I, mean, park- I didn't see that was that good yeah i'll have to I'll have to pull it up next time over but there's like a i mean it's, it's kind of it's it's it is what it is but there's a couple parts in it spoilers where like this man is like in in China or Japan or whatever, and he's like partying with Mickey Mouse, and uh, and they're like at like some like weird fucking like strip club uh, f- uh, wet market, you know? Yeah. And, and Mickey and Mickey's like and and the what's the a strip South- club wet market by the way? <laughs> well, it's like a strip club, but it's like also like the the wet market, like the the animals are like, everywhere you know they have like dead animals hanging yeah and then the 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 mickey mouse like to the dad is like you know hey have you ever you know he's like has like the mickey voice hey you ever have you ever had you ever fucked a bat you know and then like the <laughs> south park dad is like oh i don't know if I, I i don't think i've ever fucked a bat you know and mickey's like well you might as well just fuck this bat you know and then like <laughs> the south park dad is like holding the bat by its wings just fucking it you know and then like it like <laughs> flashes guessing, back I- I guess you don't let your kids watch South Park, right? No, I don't think I so. Mean, and not then it your goes, kids, but it goes back to like the house, like the present day, and the news reports are like, "Oh, we think it might have been from a bat," you know. And then the dad's like replaying all this in his head, and he's like, "Oh, you know." And then they're like, "Oh, this just in, it's not from a bat. It's it's not the virus is not from a bat. We actually think that the virus is from a pangolin." And then the kid, like Stan or whoever, the kid of the dad is like, "Hey, dad, what's a pangolin?" And then the dad like looks up to the look like, kind of like looks up like this and it goes to another flashback and he's in like a limo with Mickey Uh-oh. and Mickey's yeah. like, I, I can't believe you fucked that bat, you know? And then he's just like, oh yeah, that was wild, huh? And he's like, 
well, you, you ever you ever think about fucking a pangolin? You know, and he's like, I don't even know what a pangolin is. Like, and then Mickey like looks at the driver. He's like, driver, make a left. You know, and then like they go down this like little alley, and then all of a sudden the guy's like fucking this like armadillo looking fucking thing. Yeah, um, the pangolin. Anyway, uh, South Park pandemic special. It's on. It's on By the HBO. way, I like your Mickey Mouse voice. It's quite good. It's also it's kind of also the maybe old we man, could get you a job uh, doing the old man from fam- the old man from Family Guy. It's similar, you know. Oh, okay. I don't uh, watch that. No, uh, it's like the the old man from Family Guy, like the next door neighbor. He always like hits on Chris, the yeah. son. So he's always like, "Hey, little boy, you want to come sit on my lap?" <laughs> you know, it's very much that. Um, yeah. Look, I mean, we're never gonna know, right? We're never gonna know that that this was where this came from, how this came, how it spread so quickly. But I can say this. I mean, the United States has fucked up every single part of trying to make this better from the fucking vaccine rollouts to the fucking stimulus money to trying to help fucking American people to, you know, look, I just read a thing today. L.A. County um, health agency tells EMTs, so essentially am- ambulance crews, not to transport by ambulance those I know. people. If I, if I get it, you'll have to drive me to the hospital. Who have virtually no chance of recovery. Um, they've been advised to cut back on their use of oxygen, not to bring to hospital patients who have virtually no chance of survival. This is from the. Uh, who assesses that? Who L- decides the, that? The, the, that's the thing. The EMTs. This is from the Dr. LA Times. Dr. Barbara Sir Ferrer has decided that. No, this is this thing? is the. Um, you know, essentially, you know, it, it gets scary though with, you know, like, um, you know, like a car a car accident. Right. Like someone gets into a fucking car accident and then, you know, the ambulance shows up and then, you know, the ambulance makes the decision on on who's going to the hospital and who's not and who just sits and dies in their car. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like giving that power to other people. I don't think it's cool. I, you know, I mean, I don't know. I guess the I guess the thing right now is don't get in a car accident, don't have to go to the hospital for anything. Right? Yeah, I think that um yeah, I'm just making notes here. Um yeah, I mean I think that it is the uh hold on, what did I just say? EMT um not transporting people. Um yeah, I mean I think it's uh yeah, I think that we're fucking living in a time where you gotta be fucking careful, you know? I mean on top of COVID and on top of everything else that's going on in the world, it's like, you, you know, I mean, look, no secret because we talked about this last January. I get a physical every January. I mean, my fucking doctor isn't, my doctor's on fucking leave until July. So, I mean. I know. I, I, I I'm, I'm, I've been thinking about that because I'm thinking, well, I don't know. I'll tell you off air. Maybe not a good thing to. I don't know. I don't know that it's his health. It could be somebody in his family's health that he's. His his ex wife has had cancer before. So well, she, look, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't uh, know what's going on either. Uh, you know, but he's your doctor. He's my doctor. He's what's his name's doctor. But what, what's his name is seeing Doctor Fang. Oh, Doctor mm-hmm. Fang, Fang Fang. You heard about Fang Fang, right? Fang Fang. Yeah, the Chinese spy. No, I don't think I heard about that. Wow, where do you get your news from? Uh, the the app, the Apple News app. Oh, they're not going to tell you. Yeah, apparently, one of our congressmen here, uh, Eric Swalwell, he's the one that was interviewed on TV. I don't know if you ever saw it, but he farted. <laughs> and it didn't, was like so. Ju- didn't Giuliani? Didn't Giuliani just recently? He was like doing something. He let out a little left cheek. Uh, so, yeah, somebody said that. I I didn't see that one. Oh no, there's my phone. Oh, uh, who's calling? I don't know. Crap. Do you want Do you want to take it on air? Oh god, it's loud too. Oh, it's really loud. I know. Loud. I'm going to have to get away go, from the mic. I'm going to have to goose no, something. What do you know? Goose something. You just said goose something. That's not even a word. All right, so she has just gotten up. <laughs> literally just walked away from the podcast to uh check the phone. And now we just have we just use because we're not in the same room, I can't right, I can't. Uh, oh, who who who, who was it? My dentist. See, oh, I I always used to undo the the phone jack and you'd be like what are you unplugging the phone for? No one's going to well, call. Don't, I mean, no secret. You don't get a lot of calls. Do you think that the dentist, and I, we've talked about this before, but do you think that the dentist has a little a little thing for you? No, I just saw the dentist yesterday. I don't really want to go into it, but 
Uh, he's probably calling to see how I am. Okay. All right. The same age, though. Similar age? He's a little bit older. He's from Russia. He's Armenian, and he's from Russia, and he's very upset about what's going on in this country. He likens it to what happened in Russia with the, you know, limiting of your freedoms, the lockdown. The Russian, the, the, the Russian gas? No, the, again, communism, it's limiting of your freedoms. by the way. What is that? Um, the Russian, they well, always talk about the Russian gas. What the fuck is that? Uh, they just talk like why like the Russian players can like they just like why some of them are so good they just they inhale this like Russian gas on the bench oh it's like fucking oxygen mass with like just this like weird you know anyway so weird going back to what we're saying drugs. yeah so going back to what we're saying right like I get a physical every January and I mean not only can I not see my doctor but I don't even know if they're fucking taking if they're like even seeing patients you know they are. Okay, well, they are. They are. They are seeing patients, but you'll have to call and find out who you're going to see. I mean, I don't know. I don't know who you, you know, I don't know who you'd see. I mean, that's, you know, that's an issue. I mean, I know when you were, you know, 10 days into your fever, I asked you to call your doctor. And, you know, that was like on a Friday and they gave you a phone appointment the following Wednesday. You know, my someone from like Santa, like a Santa Monica location, you know, but it's like. Okay, well, so you know, I, I mean, I don't know. You know, I was with someone I mean, the my, other day who. Well, my my feeling is that is that, like if I were to get it, I would want to call and get on some type of a therapeutic, find out exactly what I should be doing, so I don't have to go to the hospital. You know, that's another criticism of the system that we have is that <clears throat> doctors aren't prescribing therapeutics. So when but an see, older person, it's, it's not just. It's not just that. Like our medical, our healthcare system is completely fucked. It's completely fucked. I was with someone the other day. They needed to get a hold of their doctor, but they had been, their doctor, I don't know if their doctor was on a leave or something. So they had transferred her to a different doctor, right? They were like, hey, so, you know, from here on out, you're going to see so-and-so. So she had to call for something, made the phone call. I was like, hey, I need to get in to see Dr. So-and-so or at least set up like a telehealth appointment or something. And they were like, well, have you seen him? And she was like, well, no. Um, but I was, you know, I'm a patient of so-and-so and, and so-and-so has turned me over to this doctor. And they were like, well, he he can't see you because he hasn't ever seen you before. So if this, if, you know, whatever's happening, whatever's going on, just go to urgent care. And I was like, go to urgent care. You know how many fucking people are at urgent care right now with COVID? You know, that are, that are going you know to urgent what? care because yeah. they don't feel well. What the fuck is and, that? And, and so, I see. I don't, so yeah, like, I don't get that. I don't get that. I mean, the system that. is like, the system is seriously flawed. It's seriously fucking flawed. And the fact that like, they don't, I mean, it, it, they don't even care, right? They're just like, oh, go to urgent care. And it's like, and look, at any other time, I'd be like, all right, fine. Well, you know, whatever, fuck. You're going to go to urgent care, fine. But, I think to do that in the middle of a pandemic when you have fucking health insurance, you pay for fucking health insurance to be able to see your fucking doctor. And at this time, you don't even need to see your doctor. Set it up to fucking have a telehealth appointment. Better yet, just send a text message. You know, just send a fucking text message. Call in a prescription. Do fucking something. The, 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 just go to urgent care. That's not, that you can't use that anymore. That's not fucking, that's not going to work. You know, and, that's and, what, I think and, it's, that's where, and I think it's and that's fucking where, bullshit. And that's where people end up in the hospital. That's exactly what's going on. I don't know what's, you know, I don't know what the deal is with the doctors. I don't know what kind of instruction they've gotten from, you know, I don't know if it's about their health. It's about office health. I mean, everybody's had offices open. They just don't, you know, you usually you have a choice of, you know, a telephone visit or an in-person visit. I mean, what's his name had cataract surgery twice, you know, at UCLA. So, you know, stuff like that's been going on. You know, I don't know that I'd attempt to do something like that now because I think that we've got this new strain, blah, 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 blah. I'm just, I'm just sick of, I'm just sick of like the bullshit in the like, oh, well, you know, this person, this doctor can't see you. Oh, well, you know, well, here, this doctor's on leave so we can. Uh, we don't know. 
we don't know. Sorry. It's like, no, you know, no, that's not, that doesn't, that doesn't work. The, 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 the tough cookies excuse doesn't fucking work. That's bullshit. You know, that, back in the fucking person, day. Was that person on an HMO or PPO, PPO? I believe. Uh, but you know, back in the day, fucking doctors used to come to your fucking house. They used to come to your house with their little fucking bag and their whole fucking nice little, uh, little outfit and they would fucking check you out. And it was great. Let's go back to that. You know, let's go back to that. Or, for, or you know what? For fucking for easy for easy shit, fucking video chat with me. Let's do a video chat. We're living in fucking 2021 now. Okay, we got cars to drive themselves. We got a fucking pandemic. Let's do a fucking video chat. You know, but this bullshit that like, sorry, just go to urgent care. It's like, no, 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 that doesn't work. That's not what I fucking pay for my health insurance to have my primary care physician is so I can go to urgent care when I'm fucking sick or something's wrong with me. And I get it. If it was fucking COVID, I'd be like, all right, fine. Yeah, you got fucking, hey, I'm sick with COVID. You don't, you don't want to fucking talk to me. Fine. But it's like when it's something that's clearly not COVID related and you just, they just fucking pass the buck. I just think it's, it's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. It, it makes me so angry that like, People are paying healthy fucking people in their 30s, 20s, 30s, 40s even are paying an arm and a fucking leg for health insurance and they get and they get the fucking doctor's offices to just pass the buck. I think it's fucking bullshit. It's disgusting. Well, there you go. See, now you have to find a way to change it. Yeah, I'm going to start blowing these fucking doctor's offices up, you know? I mean, look, well, the fact that I called, not, on, I called I mean, on a Friday, it, I called on a Friday I mean, to get a to get a, an appointment. Because I, I had a fever for fucking ten days, and I'm like, okay, so know. you know, I don't know. It's, Wednesday, and, and the and the and the woman, the the fucking UCLA medical woman, is like, well, I can't tell you anything. We can set up a video chat, and and no offense, no fucking offense, a video chat takes fucking fifteen minutes. Make it happen. Make it fucking happen. Oh, we will in five days. <laughs> yeah, but what kind of bullshit is that? You and, know what? and even had she been like, and even had she been like, hey, look, we can't do it today, but we can, we can definitely get you on the phone first thing Monday morning. But to be like the first available is Wednesday at three in the afternoon. Well, fuck me. I guess, I hope I'm not dead. I hope I'm not fucking dead by then. Or in the hospital again, you know? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, Josh. It's something that needs to be changed. You know, maybe you need to find another doctor. The problem is, is that, you know, because of Obamacare, you know, all these doctors had to um, join bigger establishments like UCLA or here there's the Torrance IPA group or the little company Mary group. <clears throat> um, so they all had to change. And so you kind of lost a lot of that individual care that you used to get years ago. But that's kind of what they had to do in order to survive because apparently the reimbursement from the government through Obamacare is not great. So, you know, that's why, that's why if you pay cash, you go to a doctor and you tell him I don't have insurance and you pay cash. Usually you pay like half of what he charges you for an insurance visit. They're fucking crazy. I don't it's know. I just, racket. I just, you know, I, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it is, it's a fucking racket. I think it's, I think it's disgusting. And if I was a fucking doctor, and doesn't it make that you was happy? my profession, doesn't it make you happy to know that the governor, G- governor gruesome is out having dinner at the French laundry with uh, the California medical association people that run the show here. <laughs> no, I'll, no, look, they were talking I'll, about we'll, how to we'll, make we'll get better. to the politicians. Yeah. We'll get to the politicians in a second. But if I was a fucking doctor, I would be so fucking embarrassed if that's how my front desk was dealing with patients, with potential patients. Because why am I, why would I be a doctor? Is to fucking help people. And to know that my, my fucking, well, that it's just passing to, the, bu- like, you, you also have to make sure the doctor knows that's how, that that's how it's being handled. Because sometimes they don't know how it's being handled. They only handle the medical part of it. They leave the office part of it to somebody else, office director or, you know. Yeah, it's just gross. It's just gross. It's oh. it's disgusting. And and by the way, well, you know, we can transition into politicians. Every fucking politician is a piece of shit. This this <laughs> whole thing, this whole pandemic, and the way that this is. If you are a politician, you are a piece of shit. You do not fucking care, and it's disgusting. You, I hope that you fucking rot in hell, and I hope that you fucking you see one time in your life what it's like to be a fucking normal fucking American who has to fucking suffer and who has to plan out their spending for their fucking health care and their, you know, just, we just, we got these $600 stimulus checks. 
Yeah, they're required. Yeah. Six hundred dollars stimulus checks. What a fucking joke! And everybody's everybody's sitting there going, "Oh, let's send them two thousand. Which, by the way, still a joke, but it would have been nice. Let's send them two thousand. Let's send them to and what fucking piece of shit, Mitch McConnell? No, no, sorry, no. It's like wait, that's it. Just no, just no. Oh, you'll be you'll be happy to know that him and Pelosi both got their homes vandalized. Um, oh, it was great. Yeah. I saw I saw it all over fucking Instagram and in the news. Did you? I didn't see I didn't see McConnell's house. I only saw Nancy's house. But I but I like the I like the uh, black trash bags covering, and I thought that was quite cute. Yeah, I'm just That's like what they look, did stop being stop being stop being a piece of shit. Stop being a fucking piece of shit, and then you won't get your fucking house vandalized. That's it. Just be, be a decent well, fucking human being. Look out for your, look out for your other fucking uh, human beings. It should have been, you know, I mean, fucking A. You look at the stuff that's in the bill. It's just, I mean, it's like half the shit has, uh, no, not half the shit, 99% of the shit has nothing to do with COVID. We're, we're funding other countries to, you know, I mean, I just, I, the one that sticks in my mind that I've mentioned to you many times, we're giving millions of dollars to Pakistan to help with transgender rights or i don't know what but it's like why is that our fucking responsibility i don't know here's the thing here's the thing i don't even and on top of whatever's in the bill look whatever's in the bill is whatever's in the bill okay the the you want to fucking talk about getting fucking uh, socks for fucking Saudi Arabian uh, I know, homeless that's how people. Fucking absurd fine, it is, no, it's just fine, like, whatever. That's fine. Cool. I don't care. I don't care. No, 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 no. Sorry. No, no. Just listen. Just listen. Just listen. You want to put that in? Right. You want to fucking put that in? Fine. I don't want that to. Imp- I don't want that to to fucking directly affect the the taxes that I need to pay. Okay, because I didn't vote on this shit, right? But whatever it is that you need to fucking figure out for your bill. Fine, you figure it out. You want to buy socks? You want to fucking, you want to get uh, dried fucking mango slices for the fucking South African children? Fine, whatever, <laughs> whatever it is, whatever it is. I don't care. I don't care. That's about but how when fucking it comes absurd down, it is. But when it comes down to helping the fucking citizens of the United States get through a global pandemic, when you are shutting their fucking businesses down you fucking help them you figure it out and when everybody comes back around and says yes let's change it let's send everyone two thousand dollars and it's left to one or two fucking people and they say "Mm, no that's fucking bullshit well um yeah trump said and i'm not and i'm not i'm not like i'm not i'm not a i'm not a mean person you know, I'm not fucking sitting, you know, but like, that's fucking bullshit. That's, that sucks. Well, I mean, here, the, here's the principle. I mean, and, and, and the Republicans look at it as, as excessive spending. And it's not necessarily the money that's going to the American citizens. It would be the pork that's added to the bill. I, I'm going to tell you, they could afford that and more if this all they did was rescue businesses and, United States citizens who needed help with unemployment. You have to also remember, Josh, that there's a lot of states that are not shut down. And, you know, and, you know, is it really the federal government's responsibility because Governor Gruesome Newsom wants to shut the state down for month after month? 100 percent. 100 percent. I think, yes, 100 percent. I think that if you are a governor, I'll I'll tell you, if you are a governor, you're tied in with that whole fucking political bash, right? You're fucking everyone's crony cronies, you know? If you're saying, hey, I'm shutting this shit down, right, which I want to get I want to get to shutdowns in a second, but I'm shutting this shit down. You need to then fix the issue, right? So whether it's you finding money from the state, right? Maybe not spending the $80 million on some fucking billboards because that's a horrible idea. Gavin knew shit. But yeah. maybe that's <laughs> taking the money and helping like, the fucking people. I like people, that name. That's, you know? that's a good name. I just came up with that right now. I, I didn't even write that down. I, I don't even have a pen and paper where I'm at. Um, Gavin knew shit. There is but, a recall but, you know, and if you can't. But and if you can't do it, then you then you have to go to the federal government and you have to say, "Hey, my fucking Californians are fucking hurting. We need to help them. We need to fucking help them." 
You know, you can't you can't close down restaurants and hair salons and fucking all the shit uh, three weeks before Christmas and just say, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well tough. Sorry. You know, oh, these people I'm are fucking giving, hurting. And, and, but and, I'm not giving up my paycheck. You guys can yeah, close up and yeah. And I don't know. What's by the way, going on. by the way, uh, go ahead. No, go ahead. You go. Oh, I was going to say, well, by the way, I've, I've been. You know, I've been out and about a little bit here and there. And one of the places I went to, I went to this outdoor mall in Culver City. Packed. Fucking packed. I know. Nobody's okay. And most, of the sto- and most of the stores are like kind of like, like there's lines to get into the stores and there's arrows on the ground to, uh, if you're on the, if you're on the right side, you have to walk, you have to walk ahead, you know, you have to walk, uh, you know, east, west. If you're on the, you know, <laughs> but like, what a fucking joke. Well, you know? here's here's the deal, and I, you know, I've said this before. I don't know if I've said it to you. And don't get me wrong; it was nice I, to be able to like get out, but it it still is. But like, here's but this here's is, the thing, Josh. The when when they tell us we're on lockdown, yet we're going to keep twenty five percent of the retail businesses open. Who the fuck goes to the retail businesses? How can I be on lockdown and still go to a retail business? I can't. I mean, I went in, nobody. I went into nobody a Best here Buy. is staying I went, home. I went into a Best Buy. Packed, yeah. fucking packed, and 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 you know what? And you know what? There's no one. There's no one spraying shit down. There's people are touching everything, <laughs> everything, aye, and I'm just aye, like, aye. this is disgusting, right? And now, granted, like I feel like I have a little bit of, at least for right now, maybe I'm wrong, maybe this is the wrong way to go about it, but I feel like I have a little bit of superhuman power because I, I had COVID, right? But like. You can let like you're gonna let Best Buy stay open where people are going in and touching shit. I'm sure you got kids putting putting fucking Apple uh, Apple uh, computer mice in their mouth and then putting it back on the fucking thing. But I can't I can't I can't have my salon open where we're spraying shit down with hospital grade disinfectant. I'm seeing fucking eight people. I'm seeing eight people a day, and and you and people are rubbing their balls all over the fucking electronics department in Best Buy. I know. I know. I tell you, I think they just close those places down so that it looks like they're doing something. Look at us. We're, we're taking care of our, we, we don't want anybody to die. There should be no loss of life ever. So as a consequence, we're, we're not going to drive anymore either because, you know, people could die in car accidents. So, hey, I'm watching, I mean, I'm watching it's people just fucking, fucking crazy. Rub. I'm watching people wipe their asses with Bluetooth speakers in Best Buy and put them back on the shelves. And then other people are coming up and taking them and, and putting yeah. them in their face to see how it sounds. And I can't have my my salon open. Yeah. Well, thank you, Governor Newsom. That's All right. Decision. So I want to get into the next thing, and then. Yeah, oh wait, I do want to. I do want to uh, say one thing before. That's kind of a fun thing, actually. In this last COVID bill, there was a um, a section, <clears throat> and again, you know, it's just. I mean, seriously, if you look at it, it's like 6,000 pages this this bill was. I don't think anybody ever read the entire thing. But there is a section that says that the um, within 180 days of this bill being signed, that the government has to come out and tell us everything they know about UFOs. Oh, I did see that. Yeah, I did see that, which, you know, so again, I mean, fun. you know, it's it, – well, there was there was an interesting article about how – Somebody, some scientist had said that he, he believed that there had been like all these aliens and, and planets and shit in the Milky Way in our galaxy, but that over years they had probably like basically, you know, uh, destroyed their, their civilizations because of their technology was so far advanced. And it is exactly like what we're doing to, to our civilization, civilization down here. But yeah, I mean, look, I think we, I believe we've talked about aliens before, like, I 100% believe that there are aliens out there. I think it's ludicrous to think that we are the only fucking species uh, of, of, of intelligent life, you know, that's just chilling on Earth and that there's no other anything out there. Plus, I mean, look, there's how many fucking thousands or hundreds of thousands or hundreds of millions of fucking, you know, UFO stories have we heard in the past, you know, I don't know, dating back to fucking Roswell, which was, I think, the 1920s or something like no, 1940s, I think it was 1930s. The 60s. I think Roswell was the sixties. You look. Am I that far off? I, okay. I I'm, will, gonna, I'm gonna look right now. I will say that um I I saw not long ago uh, another report on UFOs and they were saying that in two thousand nineteen um mm, forty seven. Forty seven. Forty seven, okay. Well we were both twenty years off. 
twenties, I said sixties. Um, that was a long time ago. Should we just do a road imagine, trip? Should just we do imagine, my mom, just my imagine, just imagine road the, trip to Roswell, New Mexico. Just imagine what alien life is like now in 2021. 1940, how many, what was 46 you said or 47? 47, 47. Wow. Um, anyway, these sightings were off the Atlantic coast and generally around nuclear submarines um, in 2019. And they would see things um, coming out of the water, like going underwater like super fast and coming, sh- sh- jetting out of the water and straight up into the sky at like unbelievable speeds. I thought, oh man, that's kind of fuck. That's fucking crazy. So they're not just. So what um, are they? Are they living underwater? Yeah. Well, they're not. Li- I don't know if they're living underwater, but apparently they. Have, some of them have the the capacity to be underwater, and then to go up in the air. They don't think that it's. They don't think that these things that they've seen are from other countries because they don't think that any that Russia or China has the technology to, to you know, to get the kind of speeds that they're talking about. So it's just um, like a bunch of Russians living in the fucking Atlantic Ocean, just chilling, you know. Although the, uh, they, they did say in the report that Russians do have underwater drones. I imagine we probably do too, but that's kind of weird. Underwater. <laughs> anyway, I well, thought that look, was interesting. That's really... in the bill. So thank, thank you, government, for the COVID bill. We're so happy we get to find out about yeah, UFOs, I mean, I, whatever they, whatever they don't deem it, un, un. Uh, necessary for us to know i guess they'll just redact yeah, I, mean, I think it'll be interesting to see in a little bit what actually comes out about ufos you know i mean i think that they've been kind of prep i mean it's it feels weird right like i feel like they've been kind of prepping us over the last few months about like oh aliens oh look oh look at these videos oh these are weird we you can't explain these you know and like well you know, now, there oh, must put here, like, because it because it's something happened the, yeah well because it's in the bill somebody's pushing for it in congress because it got passed in the COVID bill, because, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with COVID unless the aliens are getting it. Or maybe the aliens created it. Maybe that's well, where it so came So I heard from. something. So I heard something. I heard that it was not necessarily a COVID bill, but that's a, that, but that instead it was a bill that that is usually pushed out or something around this time, oh, there's, there's but that things. there was COVID, implica- COVID things in it. Going along with all the other stuff that is typically in these in these bills or whatever. Well, there's COVID relief bill, and then there was I think the there was the uh, just the regular like budgetary crap I think, or there was a defense bill. But I thought those were two different bills. I don't know, Josh. I don't I don't watch a lot of the news anymore. It's um, you know, I don't like you know. Oh, well, I got. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, I have one more news story for you, and then we can we can wrap it up, because I feel like this has been a news recap episode, is what this is. What did we say, 58? 58. Mm-hmm. This is like the, this is like the, but what's, uh, current, current, current events, current affairs. Current, well, I, have current, a good, uh, I have a good story about Dr. Fauci, if you want to hear okay, it. Okay, well, let me tell dirt. you this, let me tell you this, and then we'll, we'll touch on that, and then we'll, we'll, we'll get, we'll go, we'll go away. Um, I never got to tell so my I'm sure you heard, story but, either. Well, you can tell that too. Let's get it all out of the way. Uh, so, uh, announced today, Boris Johnson, who of course is the, uh, he's the guy, he's the guy in England. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, he puts England back into a full lockdown. Uh, weeks ahead will be hardest yet, says, oh, he's the prime minister, as new strain forces tough restrictions. Um, so he plunged England into its third national lockdown in a desperate attempt last night to prevent the NHS from becoming overwhelmed by the rising flood of COVID-19. I'm assuming the NHS is the new hospital system? It's probably the national national hospital system. National health system. New Harry sex? No, Harry's national, not there anymore. National, no, Harry's, Harry's national probably Harry. Heart, heart sex? Anyway. Yeah, um, anyway. So people, so people will be required to stay at home for all but a handful of reasons until at least February 15th in the strictest set of restrictions imposed since last March. That's not a good sentence for someone with a speech impediment, by the way. That would have been a nightmare for me in elementary school. Um, the laws will come into effect from the early hours of tomorrow. What? Go ahead. 
Oh, Nothing. You, well, you said something. No, I'm good. You, I just made a noise. You're making fun of me like the kids, like the kids used to. No, no, <laughs> no. I didn't know we were to talk about that. I've talked I was about gonna it on the ask, I was going to ask you to say the that sentence again. Is what I was going to ask you to do because I it kind of went by oh. me quickly. All right, let me let me let me get all the saliva out of my mouth really quick here. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> I'm glad uh, I have people will be required to that. say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop. Okay. You're making my mouth hurt. Hold on. Let me. Let me. You should see how my mouth's going to feel after this sentence. Ah, okay. People will be required to stay at home for all but a handful of reasons until at least February 15th, in the strictest strictest set of restrictions imposed since last March. Jesus suckering, Christ. Suck, <laughs> suffering succotash. The snakes, the snakes are in the sand. The snakes <laughs> are in the sand. <laughs> Fucking speech teacher is like, oh, it's not sounding any better. I'm like, okay. And she's like, can you do it again? I'm like, snakes in the sand. She's like, can you just repeat after me? Snakes in the sand. I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Snakes in the sand. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> She's like, oh, can you God. say strict strictest set of restrictions imposed since last March? Strictest set of restrictions imposed since last March. It's like unreal. Who's writing this shit? What, what publication is this from? Obviously Times of London? It, Not going to work. They don't read it out loud. They just write it. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Hope none of your kids okay. have, a, have a fucking speech impediment. Really? Uh, so anyway, the laws will come... In, <laughs> Still, you want to hear it again? You like it? Strike the set of no, restrictions. No, I the don't. Since last just, March. There's, a, there's a delay with our with our broadcasting. There's a delay. So, like, you go on to a sentence, and then I'm, you know, it's just kind of weird. And I hope that doesn't. I hope that the actual recording doesn't have the delay built into it, because then we're gonna have to do this all over again, and I really don't want to do that. No, I'm not doing it all over again. Either you put it out as it is, or it doesn't get put out at all. They either, they either get the delay, or they or nothing. Or nothing um, at all. Yeah. If you don't like it, then you know, it's just stop listening. When our when our listenership dwindles down to nothing, we'll just stop doing this. How's that? The laws will. The laws will come into effect from the early hours of tomorrow and Parliament will be recalled the same day. Uh, and I quote, the weeks ahead will be the hardest yet, the Prime Minister said in a televised address. I know how tough this is. I know how frustrated you are. I know I know you've had more than enough of government guidance about defeating the virus. But now, more than ever, you must pull together. Um, he promised that the country was entering the final phase of the struggle and held out hope of an accelerating, a quote unquote, accelerating vaccine program, pledging an average of 2 million jabs. I don't like that they call it jabs, 2 million jabs a week from now until the middle of next month. With every jab that goes into our arms, we are tilting the odds against COVID and in favor of the British people. So let me ask. Uh, oh, here. Okay. So I'm sorry. Let me just say this. And then we'll, uh, the latest lockdown will bring a return of the limited set of exemptions to the stay at home orders that include shopping for essential supplies, medical care, work if it is impossible to do from home, and exercise. Those deemed clinically extremely, those deemed clinically extremely vulnerable are being advised to shield again. The government has revised the, the original messaging stay home, protect the NHS, safe life, save lives. So with all that being said, um, you know, I, I heard something really interesting the other day about, uh, where we are with things. And essentially what it was, was that it was on a, a hockey podcast that I listened to, but they were saying when the hockey season starts, which, which happens soon, the San Jose Sharks will have to play their games in Arizona because the county has outlawed or banned, uh, uh contact sports, but the Florida Panthers when the season starts are actually having people come to the stadium or having fans in attendance to see their games. I'm telling you, Florida's <clears throat> Florida's doing better than we are as far as number of cases and deaths. No, 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 no. And, and they're not totally. locked down but at what all. I'm, but what I'm saying is that though, is that, saying? well, I I'm, mean, I'm what, saying where, that the where is LA going to play? Well, they can't play here. Anaheim's not going to be able to play here. They're not playing sports. No, they can are play. They? There's just there's not going to be any. No, yeah, oh, yeah no they're fans. Playing sports, but there's just, uh, yeah, no fans. 
So well, they be do you a, think well, that we well, should wait, go are in? They exempt, wait, are they exempt from the gathering rule? Because when you get, you know, 20 hockey players from each team, 40 players, and then, you know, your equipment managers and all that kind of crap. I mean, we're taking, you know, 100 know. people at a know. game. I mean, but I, and I, and I don't know if they're doing like, I mean, I know the schedule's all different because of, you know, trying to keep certain cities around each other for a certain amount of times. And look, I grant there's going to be COVID cases because there's COVID cases in baseball. There's COVID cases in basketball. There was COVID cases in, in football. Like this is the world we're living in. But what I think is Are funny they is that- Are going to wear masks? <laughs> No. And they were, what I think no. is funny is that this is this is uh, this is uh, the worst that this has ever been right now. Right, hospitals are overrun. Where are the fucking boats? Where are the fucking hospital the, the medical boats that, that they called out in March? Right for the fucking thousand people well, on March tenth well, that had COVID. Talked, Where the fuck are those? Ta- they've talked about having the mercy come back, but okay, I well, guess I mean, they I, don't, should, I, I feel like it should have happened yesterday. Uh, they don't want. Um, they don't want COVID patients. The Mercy doesn't. They would want to take like overflow of, um, you know, like ER patients and stuff from local hospitals. But yeah, why isn't why isn't Governor Newsom doing something about that? Well, that's you know, what I'm saying. Need, it's like there's all these things like request that. Right. So like, okay. So like, where's the fucking medical boats? Right. Like, where, where, why are, why are sports like, I mean, they shut down the fucking NBA and the NHL in March when there was like a hundred cases. And now they're just like, yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah. So like, so what I was going to ask you, my question to you was. Yes. Where (laughs) people are going to be like, oh my God, did they just cut out? Um, No, I thought you were going to say something. No. Oh no, you were. No, you wasn't. actually you started a sentence for me. I you? was, but okay. I Okay, okay. So <clears throat> it wasn't, yeah. You have a lot of those tonight. So my question to you is should we lock down the United States as they're doing in the UK or or England and do a full lockdown? You know, sports are fucking done, shopping malls are closed, hair salons, nail salons, um uh restaurants are fucking closed, you know, go back to where we were in March, like, hey, you're not fucking going out of the house. You know, do we go back to that? Yeah, do you no, think that that would help? I don't, I don't think that's going to help because you see other states like the state of Florida, they don't have lockdown and, you know, people are normal there. Their cases are no worse there than we have here. As a matter of fact, I think their their cases are less and their deaths are less. So I, I just don't believe that lockdowns really help. I think if you're... If you're elderly, if you're at risk, then you probably shouldn't be going out a lot. I don't go out a lot. I mean, I just do what's essential. And to be honest with you, it's not a very fun life to live. I don't like it. Uh, you know, I don't think anybody likes it. And you have to be, you know, they've s- fucking scared us all that, you know, we're all going to die from this horrible disease. It's <clears throat> It's not fun. It's not fun doing this. But no, I don't think I don't think a whole lockdown like that is going to be beneficial. Number one, I think that you'd have a really hard time getting people to do it at this point. I just don't, you know, especially Gavin Newsom. I mean, you know, Joe Biden could do that if he becomes president. You know, he could say the whole. But there'll be states that'll say no, we're not doing it, and that's the way it's meant to be. The federal government is, you know. The federal government does not control state and local governments. I mean, Eric Garcetti can shut us down here in L.A. and maybe the rest of the state's not shut down. So, you know, I mean, generally, <clears throat> gruesome Newsom beats him to it. But, you know, whatever. I mean, yeah, I don't, I, th- I, I, I don't I, think it helps. <clears throat> I mean, with, you know, why, I mean, why, you know, we got a big shutdown. Why, why are our cases exploding? I mean, I don't think people are staying home. I think that's one of the things. But I mean, well, it's we don't kind have of a big again, shutdown. We have we have restaurants, we have outdoor dining clothes, and we have hair salons in, closed. I mean, that's essentially yeah. what we and, and then nail and then uh, and shopping gyms closed? and nail salons and shopping is uh, no gyms are open outside, and shopping is you know is down to twenty five percent. But like you know, again, sports are, you know sports uh, professional sports are still going on. I think some schools are in, some schools aren't in. To me, I, you know, I'm they, just in there, and I disagree start, with you. Have, I think. I was going to say, they haven't opened public schools at all in California since March. 
Well, I mean, I guess they're all doing, you know, my, you know, my remote. My thing is that I, I, I think that we should go back to a, a full shutdown, full fucking lockdown. You shut it all fucking down. It all goes down. You're not traveling from fucking and different then counties. What? You're and not. And then what? Then, then we we'll wait and see. Let's give it a month. Let's give wait, it a month. Get the fucking wait and get see the number, get, get some of the sh- get get the get the stress on the fucking hospitals off. Well, I think that's what that Gavin is trying to do right now. Uh, I think yeah, that's but what by closing down fucking hair salons and and outdoor dining, it ain't doing shit. Well, they shouldn't have like the malls and stuff open. No offense, but I mean, again, it's I just, agree. It's just, Shut, that's it's what I'm saying. Arbitrary. Shut it all down. It's, it's all arbitrary. I just I feel like they should do the shutdowns just to make it look like they're they're doing something that they think is going to help. And and time after time after time, and in many countries, we've seen that shutdowns are only temporary fixes. Once you fucking open up again, you know, then what happens? You get the explosion But I think that where we are right again. now, right, but I think that where we are right now, it's important to get some of the stuff, some of the stress, especially in LA County, off the I'll fucking tell hospitals. You, I'll tell so you I think one it, thing, I'll tell you one thing that could be really, really bad is that, um, and could really, you know, materialize is, uh, Joe Biden presidency allowing, I mean, they're already starting caravans in Central and South America. Central and, uh, Central America, they're starting caravans to come up here and come across the border. And it's like, like, are you going to lock us down and let all these people come into our country who probably, cause they've been hit pretty hard in South of us, in Mexico and, you know, Central and even South America. So, you know, I mean, that could just be a fucking mess. Well, I mean, look, we're going to have to wait and see when that all happens, if that happens. But, I mean, I agree. You can't – uh, the, the borders to the United States should be fucking 100% closed right now. There, you should not be able to come into the United States from fucking anywhere right now. And I'm going to even say – go so far as to say state-to-state travel shouldn't be allowed to do that either. Because that's fucking I mean, why, bullshit too. Why, because why do we yeah. why do we let Mexico? Why is travel between here and Mexico okay? I I have to say on the ninety day fiance, they this gal was coming from France to meet her to come to the United States. They got granted their K one visa, and she the the flights that they at the time we weren't allowing any flights in from Europe, which was probably early in the pandemic. So she wasn't able to do that. And I guess the, the K-1 visa is only good for like five months, whatever. So time was running out. So they found a way that they thought they could go to Mexico. She could fly to Mexico from France. He could fly to Mexico from the United States. They could stay in a hotel, quarantine for 14 days, and then enter into the United States. So why is travel between Mexico and East? You had a friend who was going to go to Mexico. Why? I don't get why we've, I mean, because they got hit, hit pretty hard down there as well. I, I don't know. I don't I don't know why. I don't, 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 I don't think that. <clears throat> okay. You just did it again. You can't do that. I didn't do anything. I wasn't going to say anything. No, I was no, but you let... started talking and then I stopped. And then, and then you stop, and then we both, and then it sounds like we both, it sounds like both of our microphones <laughs> died at the exact same time. <laughs> Rodman's gonna be fucking driving to work and be like, "What the fuck just happened? Why does it keep Did cutting I out?" Did I lose them? I know. Why um, keep cutting out? Yeah, he's gonna be like changing <laughs> is, the radio station. You know? Really? We're just gonna make you think you're. Uh, there should be cutting out. Go ahead. Yeah, there should be no. There should be no. The borders to the United States should be closed 100. percent You ain't fucking going out. You ain't coming in. The state to state travel, close it down, shut it down. I'm sorry. Like, you can't fucking be in LA County and be wearing a mask and hospitals are fucking overrun. You can't go to Florida or Arizona for a weekend, part of your face off, and then come back like it ain't no shit. You know? Well, we, d- we did get the latest order I think we got last week was that if you traveled into LA, you had to um, isolate for 10 days. 
Yeah, but who that's the fuck's so, enforcing that? Nobody is. That's the thing. I know that's the thing. New Zealand, they, you know, seriously, like you have to have your two week hotel reservation before they even let you fly into the country. I mean, that's how they've controlled yeah, New it. Zealand's like giving you like a fucking like a like a prison number. You know, they're they're like doing like data on you to make sure that like, you know, they're putting a microchip in your neck to make sure you ain't leaving that hotel for those fucking two weeks. And guess what? All those people are like, no, this is fine. And then you know what no, they got to do for fucking actually, music? They've actually Part, had some, party in big fucking groups. They've actually had some um, <laughs> some uh, escapees from quarantine. Mike said they catch them, bring them back. That's your that's that's your brother. That's your brother. That's my brother. There. My brother lives in New Zealand. Yeah, their life's pretty much normal there. That's which is weird, but you know, whatever. I will say this. I, you know, I've heard a lot of people talking about the travel over the holidays and how the airline flights were like super full. And it's like, what the fuck? I don't get that either. Number one. Oh, I just two. saw, the, I saw the best fucking, I saw, I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt, but I saw the best thing on the internet. It was a photo of LAX and it was like all these passengers waiting in line six feet apart, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for ticketing or baggage or whatever. And then the next, the next thing is them all on the plane and every fucking seat on the plane is full. <laughs> And it's I like, know, okay, it's well, like, what, what, what good is it? What, what, what are you doing? You know, I know. I don't understand how they get by without having, uh, having whatchamacallit, six, a uh, social distancing. I don't, I don't get that. And on top of that, like, I, I don't think I, I, I don't think I could get on a plane right now and, and be, and like go to my seat and then have two fucking, like if I'm in like a middle seat and then have two fucking random strangers next okay. to me for five hours. Like, I, I think I would just freak the fuck out and just be like, yeah. no, thank you. Yeah, no, you would. And part of that freak out would just be from the uh, the effects of media and the disease. You know, I mean, what, well, and there's know, people what flying. The like, there's are. been documented. Yeah, but there's been like documented cases of people flying who have COVID. Like they test before they get on a plane and they test positive and they're like, well, I got to go. And then they get on the plane. How, how, do they, how do they allow to do that? They test positive? Aren't they doing like like uh, temperatures or anything like that? Are they doing nothing at the airports? They're just know. letting anybody I have go no idea. anytime. I, don't know. I haven't been there. I, haven't been I there. thought I don't I know. thought Couldn't I heard an, and I could be wrong, but I thought I heard a news story yesterday about um, the airlines were telling the flight attendants not to use the bathrooms and that they should wear like um, adult diapers. Because the bathrooms would contain like more COVID germs and stuff. So is that kind of weird? <laughs> I mean, if if I was a fucking flight attendant, it doesn't even matter. If I was doing any job, okay, any fucking job, and they were like, hey, so, and like my supervisor came in or like my boss was like, hey, so we just got word from fucking HQ. Um, yeah, this is awkward. I don't even know how to say this, but... We don't really want you guys using the bathrooms anymore. Um, so you're going to find enclosed in your overnight bag. Here's some depends. I'd be like, excuse me? I know. Now, like, not only is it bad enough that I had to wear, I had to wear this shit over my face and probably a fucking, uh, 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 face shield, but I got to wear diapers to work. I know. What happens when I get my diaper wet? I mean, I can't even imagine. Yeah. Going like what? And I just, I just had to, I just had to sit. Like like I'm like like I'm cutting hair midday and they're like, well, we just think it's probably better if you don't use the bathroom at work. And I'm just cutting hair midday. And I'm just letting my fucking piss. I'm just urinating in my fucking diaper, and then it's just warm until it gets cold. And now and now now I'm shivering. Now I have the chills. Then everyone thinks I have COVID again. What a fucking mess. Oh like, my what, god! Like, I can't even believe it's fucking 2021, <laughs> and this is the shit we're talking about. Flight attendants having to wear diapers. What a fucking mess this is, huh? Oh god, Fuck. I know. <laughs> I love it. I just love it. Uh, but, but it's okay for the passengers to use it. Don't worry, we sanitize everything, but we're telling our employees not to use the bathrooms. There could be too many. COVID You're just germs. looking for like the 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 slimmest fit. Depends, <laughs> you know, just so they don't stick out. <laughs> And like I wear pretty tight jeans. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? That's not. I'm not. I'm not hiding that shit from to, anyone. You're you gonna know? have to wear sweatpants from now on. Tight sweatpants. Fuck. Even my. Yeah. Even like my. Yeah. Even my sweatpants are like kind of like form fitting. You know. And it, yeah. And like, good well, question. Like, trouble. so okay. So I, I. I. You're in trouble. 
Okay, you just did it again. Yeah, you did it again. So, but like, so, okay, so I piss, I piss in my, my diaper, my adult diaper, and then what? Do I get to go somewhere? Do I get to go into my own private, my own private area to, to swap that out? Or like, yeah, what? I'm just like living in my piss for the next eight hours? Like, what do I do with that? You know? Well, that's, that would be the question. I mean, I, okay, so I got the adult, adult diaper on. I'm not going to use the bathroom, but now I have to use the bathroom. So somehow change my adult diaper because it's wet, and I don't, I don't know, I don't know, Josh. I haven't worn them yet. Yeah, and can so. I, can I, can I take multi, can I take multiple peas in my adult diaper? I don't know. Depends on how much fluid you're taking in, I guess. I'm not sure. We'd have to read the box to see how much that can hold. And, or maybe and, I mean, just and wear- look, let's be honest here. <laughs> Maybe you Why just do you keep doing that? Just it. finish your thought. Rodman, Rodman literally just turned the podcast off. No, I swear. I'm not. Half the time you think I'm going to say something and I'm not. I'm just finishing up what I you're said. Like, you're like, no, this is, you're like, once Don't upon a time. In a, just listen to me. Don't look at me. Just listen to me. Look, and God forbid you take a poop in this adult diaper. Then what? Oh you're sitting there with some fucking turdlets in your fucking diaper. You think it stinks? And like, <laughs> oh, how embarrassing for these flight attendants. They're like, they're like serving fucking peanuts and people are just like, God, it smells like shit in here. <laughs> I don't think they're allowed to serve how food anymore. Disgusting. <laughs> I know. Oh, they're just walking yeah. up and down. They're like, they're like well, the, the exits can be found to the front, the uh, sides, <laughs> and the rear. Uh, there's dotted lines. Like, pa- 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 passengers are like, God, it smells like shit. It smells like human shit. What is is that? Is that urine? God, it smells like human shit and piss. Fuck. Oh god. So you got right. a fucking Altoid or something? <laughs> Fuck me. Incense? A candle? This is, this is too funny, Josh. We have to stop making my mouth hurt. I haven't laughed this much in like weeks. Weeks. We haven't. We haven't uh, all right. So look, we're we're it's getting late. I know, I know it's getting late. Do you want to tell your your uh, you had a Fauci and then you, and then you had a Jewish story? Yeah, well, the Fauci story is just I read an article about him. Apparently, um, he spent the eighties, um, promoting the fact that HIV virus was airborne. That you can you know, this is our Saint Fauci. He's always right. Um, that you could get it from being in the same household with somebody who has it. And he promoted AZT, which is apparently a some black label drug that or black label treatment that um killed a whole bunch of people, uh, AIDS patients. Probably killed more people than the AIDS virus would have killed. So that's our little Dr. Fauci. I've got some stories about um what's his name? Rob Redfield. He's the CDC director. He's a, another piece of work. Um, I suspect these are government employees for life. And you know how I feel about that. Generally, if you're a good doctor, yeah, you're in I a mean, private practice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I think that the unfortunate part of everything right now is that I think that we're living in a world in which you have to question shit. You have to question things and you have to look at things because, you know, would it be so great as one of my friends says, we got to listen to the doctors. We got to listen to the doctors. The doctors know everything. The doctors don't know fucking everything. And, and for as many great and good doctors as there are, there's fucking bad doctors and there's shitty doctors and there's crooked doctors and there's doctors who are in cahoots with big pharma and there's, and, it's gross. So I think that the unfortunate part of all this is that we're living in this world where you have to fucking question things and you have to look at what's right for you and how does that, you know, impact and, and, and change the, the world around you, you know, and it sucks, you know, it sucks that we don't have fucking guidance, you know, it sucks that you, that you can go back and Google something about Dr. Fauci, excuse me, Dr. Fauci or, you know, Robert, Robert Redfield, by the way, what a great name, Robert Redfield, like a fucking actor, you know, that's like Robert this summer Redford. starring in the, the, the Robert Redfield. You're like, wow, fuck that guy's a stud. Um, yeah. 
yeah, it sucks. You know, it sucks that that, that, that shit is out there. But as I've said before, right, everyone has a fucking past. Everybody has their, their shit, you know. Uh, President elect Joe Biden, he used to smell uh, some uh, ladies, ladies' hair. He likes the way the ladies' hair smells, you know. And, yeah. and, and, you know. Well, he and he sexually, of, and, you, and he accused sexually of, assaulted Tara Reid in his Senate office. He was uh, accused, accused of that. He was accused of sexually assaulting Tara Reid, not the actress. Um, nope. And then, you know, Donald Trump is, is grabbing him by the pussies, you know. Apparently... That that was sound like, did that consen- sound like I said it wasn't, that, wasn't that consensual, though? Wasn't that consensual? What, Trump was like, hey, can I grab you by the pussy? And the woman was like, okay, just grab it. Yeah, exactly. Grab it real quick. But, but Joe Biden yank, wasn't Yank it consen- around, throw it wherever you wanted to. <laughs> but Joe Biden's wasn't consensual. That's my point. Look, I've been saying it for a while. I think there's, I think... Joe Biden's a stud, man. He got, he, got, he got more votes than anybody ever. Any candidate. I know, look, I've ever. been saying it for a while. I th- I think I think Uncle Joe might have a little a little creepy side to him. Um, he won't be president. But, you know, I, it felt it it felt good to see him run down that fucking to run down that that stage um, on the on the fucking when he gave that speech. I was like, dude, he is running. Look at him go. Um, all right. Tell your, uh, tell your, so I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to say about Fauci and, and Redfield, you know, There's again, nothing I, mean, to say, I, just, I think you, know. you have to, well, I think, I think what I yeah, was I think going you, I to think say th- is that, is that you have to, is that it's always been, you know, there's people that don't ever question the mag- medical establishment and, and you have to always question, you have to have somebody to be an advocate for you. And you always, it's like when, you know, Samantha had leukemia and going through the chemo, I mean, she was never on full dose of chemo. I knew what that would do to her. And her doctor, he, you know, respected my view as her mother. Um, and, you know, I, again, you just, you just don't, you have to always question. I mean, I saw pe- I saw children lose their lives and I felt that one of the reasons was because the parents didn't question the treatment. And, you know, sometimes treatment, and especially with cancer, is, you know, the treatment kills you before the cancer does. So, um, anyway, my Jewish story. I thought this was really interesting. Of course, we're way past Hanukkah now, but, um, but, uh, due to the Trump administration's peace deal with Dubai, the A, the UAE, um, in Dubai this year, they, for the first time, they had Hanukkah celebrations. And they and I actually watched the um, <clears throat> excuse me uh, the um, first Jewish wedding that was allowed to be in Dubai, and I thought that it was just so cool that like for Hanukkah they had like this big gold menorah like in the middle of the city and it was lit up and you know so there I I just think that that's so cool because there's been so much conflict with the Middle East and these countries and the fact that. Um, that now you can actually be a Jew in Dubai, and I think that's great. Um, Did they reference anything about how, that this was the first year that the Hanukkah monster didn't make an appearance because they, they actually lit the menorah? Or They did not mention that, no. But um, that is a good point. I don't know if the Hanukkah monster showed up this year or not. In Dubai, I don't, you know, he might not have known to go there, you know, because the the peace deal was just signed in September. So, um, you know, so who knows? Anyway, I just thought it was cool. And I, you know, and and again, it, you know, it opens up, you know, like huge venues for um, for Jewish weddings and all that kind of stuff. And and, you know, it's very cool to see that, you know, those traditions being carried on. In a country that, you know, has never allowed that before. So there you go. That's my Jewish story. I like That's it. all I got. Uh, you like it? Let's see. It's kind of a different thing, you know. It's not political. It's not, you know. Although it was the Trump. Where was that? You said du- Dubai, right? Yeah, Dubai. That would be in the um, um, United Arab United Emirates. Arab Emir- Emir- Emirates. 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 Yes. Emer- so that's all. That's all I got, Josh. We talked about that stupid PCR. Well, that's good. Test. I think. I think that's. 
Yeah, I think that that's a good way to um, to end it with a, with a little uh, something positive, you know? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, and yeah, I got I got nothing else. I mean, I feel like this was a good kind of current current events. That's what it's called, current events. The current events wrap up, you know. There you go. The week and and wrap with Josh and my mom Sandy. Or how about week in review my mom? with my mom week Sandy. I think they somebody's used that week in review thing before. No. Um, uh, yeah, I think so too. But we'll just we'll we'll take it. We'll take it. Um, all right. We'll give us. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see everybody next Tuesday. Oh, I mean, we didn't even we didn't even tell them. We'll see you guys next Tuesday. Um, if you guys need to get a hold of us, I mean, no one no one does. It would be nice if you did, but <laughs> no one does. But on Instagram at my mom Sandy at my mom Sandy podcast, and uh, if you guys want to email us, my mom Sandy podcast at gmail dot com. Um, yeah, maybe we just say hi. We have, you know, yeah. Just. Yeah, give us a five star rating or something. Something good. We hope that you're all safe out there, that you're um you know, being careful with your exposure. Um, you know, I still don't want to get it. I don't think I would fare well. Yeah, it's not fun. It's not fun. Yeah. No. Be so. uh, yeah, be careful, you know, wear a mask. Um, you know, I would say the biggest thing is just, you know, be diligent about who you're around and who they've been around, you know, and you know, that's all you can do. You know, let's try to fucking, you know, let's try to help these hospitals out a little bit by not, you know, making this even fucking worse for them. And, uh, and yeah, and, you know, like I always say, you know, tell, tell the people you love that you love them, you know, cause this is, uh, this is weird times, scary times. Uh, and you know, we, we don't know if, you know, tomorrow's not promised. So, uh, you know, tell your loved ones you love them. Um, if you live in the same household or close by, hug them close. If not, don't even hug them. Don't even just don't even look at them. Yeah, I don't know about that hugging thing. That's a little scary. I mean, that's a horrible thing. Is that we're getting to a, you know, we've gotten to a point now where any physical contact with people is just like taboo. It's like, stop it. You know, I don't want to live. I don't want to yeah, live know, that way weird. forever. So anyway, is that all we got? You got anything else? So, oh, I'm 39. I had a birthday January 1st. Happy birthday to me. It's okay. Everyone who listens didn't wish me that. It's totally fine. January 1st, 39. Uh, but that's all I got. He's yeah, that's all I got. Still accepting, still accepting gifts, right? Still accepting gifts. You can email us uh, at mymomsandypodcast at gmail.com <laughs> and I can send you uh, the, our P.O. box. There you go. We'll get one just for a gift. <laughs> all right. Well, you know what Perfect. I got to say then? All right. Very good. Very good.